Hello and welcome to all of you to this demo lecture of physics. Today we are going to see what are the what is the syllabus for physics for HSTR exam. Let us start with my introduction. My name is Abhijit Savan and I have completed MSc physics. I have more than 10 years of experience in teaching for schools, colleges and to BSc graduation. I have been head of various departments including IIT Foundation, Research and Innovation Labs at graduations and ATL Lab. Okay, what is the syllabus for HSTR exam? Our syllabus includes or can be divided into six major parts. The first part is motion. The second part includes waves and oscillations. The third part is electrodynamics. And the fourth part is thermal physics. The fifth is modern physics. And the last part is others which cannot be grouped into a specific categories. So let us look at the first part. The first part is motion. Here in this part, which is a very important part, we are going to understand how we are going to describe motion. Describing motion includes various parameters such as distance, displacement, velocity, speed, acceleration and so on. The next thing in this we are going to learn are what are the laws of motion. This laws of motion includes the three laws of Newton which help us predict and analyze motion. Also we are going to understand the motion in a specific way that is first we are going to understand how to under analyze motion in one dimension. Then we are going to move to two dimensions and finally to three dimensions. We are going to also apply what we have learned about motion to different types of motions such as motion in straight line, motion in rotation and so on. Here we are also going to learn about the concepts of work, power and energy. This is basically looking at same motion and analyzing the same motion but from a energy point of view. The next part that we are going to learn is about electrodynamics. This is a very important part. In this part, we are going to learn how charges create electric and magnetic field. Also, we are going to learn about electric current and how to analyze a circuit. The charges which are at rest create electric field. Whereas the charges which are in motion create both electric and magnetic field. In thermal physics, we are going to learn about how to use kinetic theory of gases to analyze the important parameter of temperature. Here we are also going to learn about laws of thermodynamics, which include the zeroth law the first law and the second law. We are also going to discuss about the thermal properties of matter that is of different substances. The last part is modern physics. In modern physics we are going to learn about atoms, we are going to learn about nucleus we are also going to learn about dual nature of light where we understand that all matter is basically particle nature as well as wave nature and finally we are going to learn about electromagnetic waves. So this is the whole syllabus for HSTR exam briefly created in separate categories so that we understand what we are going to learn. Finally, let us look at a concept 
so that how we understand how we are going to learn today we are going to discuss about the concept of acceleration what is acceleration acceleration basically means change in velocity with respect to time so on this acceleration various questions can be asked if i represent acceleration in terms of an equation it will be change in velocity divided by time now let us look at an example in this question it is asked which type of acceleration causes increase in velocity is it a positive acceleration negative acceleration c both positive and negative acceleration cause increase in velocity and d the information is insufficient now with the concept that we have learned in our previous classes most of the students will answer positive acceleration as the cause for increase in velocity but that is not true to understand this try to understand that acceleration is a vector quantity a vector quantity has directions on the basis of axis if the acceleration is along positive direction of x axis it is called as positive acceleration if the acceleration is along negative direction of x axis it is called as negative acceleration for acceleration to be positive the force has to be applied in the positive direction of x axis for acceleration to be negative force has to be applied on negative direction of x axis so the direction or the sign of the acceleration has nothing to do with increasing or decreasing the velocity to increase the velocity we will take a simple example suppose we have an object which is moving with a velocity of v and we need to increase its velocity to increase the velocity we also know that in our day to day life or in day to day situations if you want to increase the velocity of this object we simply apply force in this direction now the acceleration also has the same direction as that of the force so acceleration will be also in this direction now acceleration because it is along positive direction of x axis is positive and velocity is also along positive direction of x axis so it is also positive in this case the velocity is increased but the object can also be traveling in the negative direction and maybe we wanted to increase the velocity of this object so we'll simply apply force in the direction of the velocity and the acceleration here will be also in negative direction in this case also the velocity increases in this case also velocity increases similarly if we want to decrease the velocity what we have to do is simply apply force in opposite direction velocity is in positive direction we will apply a force in negative direction so acceleration will be also in negative direction this will cause a decrease in velocity similarly if an object is traveling along negative direction and again we wanted to decrease its velocity we will apply a force in positive direction here that means the acceleration will be also in positive direction whereas the velocity is in negative direction in this case also the velocity will decrease so what we understand from this example is when in these cases 
the velocity was increased and in the below two cases the velocity was decreased so if you want to understand when the velocity increases or when velocity decreases we have to take into consideration both the direction of velocity as well as the direction of acceleration if both are in same direction as in the first example or in the second example where velocity is negative and acceleration is also negative the velocity increases in both cases whereas when velocity and acceleration are in opposite direction the velocity decreases which is same in the case here also velocity is negative direction acceleration is in positive direction the result is decrease in velocity so velocity decreases or velocity increases when acceleration and velocity have same direction whereas velocity decreases when acceleration and velocity have opposite directions so coming back to the question in this question we are asked which acceleration causes increase in velocity and the answer to this is the d option because we are not told what is the direction of velocity so we cannot predict or we cannot say whether the velocity will increase or decrease i hope that you enjoyed the today's lecture and found it to be easy and informative i will be looking forward to you for joining the batches for success academy jamkhandi which we are shortly going to begin online so best of luck and see you in the next class